It's back. Geo Detective is back. Oh, thank God. Um, this is the much loved and famous series, if you like, uh, in which I attempt to find the location of. Well, there, there's some of my Patreons that sent in photos. Photos that include them in a picture, such as this one here, sent in by Ian Clutterbuck, or Andrew Feathercock here, uh, or even Bananas Hippledick, photographed here in Yosemite Park. Now, everything north of this one here, I have successfully, mostly successfully pinpointed these locations, apart from pretty much one. And it's this one today that we resume with, Leaky Fawcett, yeah, which is a, a, an interesting name. Uh, this is him here. This is what I'm going to be tackling today. Some of you may remember the first ever episode of Geodetective featured a bridge, a mint green or turquoise bridge, which I eventually managed to find, and I'm hoping I can do that here today. Uh, the even more keen-eyed among you will have noticed that Hugo Dudesworthy and Josh Jerry Janulus have been skipped. That's because I think they're going to be quite tricky to get, but I do think they're possible. So I'm going to come back to them when I'm more warmed up at this. Because it's been a while. The last time I did this was the easiest batch, which was these six, um, to try and get me back into the swing of things. But obviously the editing for America just took hold of my life, quite frankly. But that's over, so I'm hoping to do more of these. I really am. And as some specials as well. I want to do more sentimental photos, old adverts, things like that. I've got a few ideas. But anyway, for now, let's get into this and let's try and find the pesky, leaky faucet. I think this, on first glance, looks like America. Just judging by the foliage and whatnot, but the person who sent this in, Leaky Fawcett, that sounds to me like an Asian name. It sounds South Korea. It's not his real name. Come on. Um, <laughs> there's no point. There's no point. I've, I've kept up this facade for far too long now. These are joke names that I've given them. All right. Okay. Come on, Bananas Hippledick. Um, so let's ignore that. But he does look to be Chinese or, or Korean or I don't think Japanese. So it increases the odds slightly that we're in those countries. But if I was to guess where this was, I would say North America. Maybe, I think it's, I don't think it's Canada. I think it's a bit further south than that judging by these trees, but I don't know. Could be Vancouver, something like that. So what we've got to do, guys, this is this is all about the bridge. Uh, this is how we found the first ever one, which I really didn't think I'd find. Um, and this is how we're gonna find this one. The problem is, this one is made of concrete. So I need to find out what this type of bridge is called with these arches. Um, so that's, that's the task. So just before I start Googling, last time we found a really good website, which I, I'm hoping to find again, which just had a list, a database of every bridge, every noteworthy bridge in North America. I mean, it was really detailed. It was a geodetectiver's dream. So that might be what we use, but first I'm gonna do a bit of Googling and try and find find out what type of bridge this is. Now please forgive my Googling. It's not amazing. That will get better over time. So in situ balanced cantilever bridge. Pre -cat so I'm just gonna first of all copy and paste and Google a few of these. I do know about control V. Right, yeah. Precast cantilever. I get that now. I'm learning actually. Concrete arch, concrete, that sounds good. This is looking closer. That's what we want, parabolic. Wow, we're really getting into the 
terminology here. Parabolic arch concrete bridge. So I'll copy that now. Jesus, look at... Oof, I don't know if I'd drive over that. I feel like we've got a bit further away now. Why I think this is gettable is it's a big bridge and it's over a, a river, so there's, there's Googling we can do. That's an interesting structure, that red thing as well. I think pretty soon we should get onto that website. Yeah, I'm, I'm itching now. My, my brain wants to go list of concrete arch bridges North America. Because if we've got a list of that, surely it'll be on there. I hope it's in North America. I really do. Because if that's in China, we're in trouble. Um, was it structure A? Structure A.net. Could have been. Could have been. Right. Structure type. Arch bridge. Function. Oh, this is this is it. This is road bridge. Is that a road bridge? Can we figure it can we figure out whether that's a road bridge? Well, it's got street lamps, so it's not a railway bridge. So yeah, I think that is a I think that's a road bridge. I think we can safely say that. Methods. Ooh. Oh my God. I mean, where do we start with this? Precast concrete elements with in situ joints. Precast girders. I, do you know what? I think I'll leave that. And let's just go arch bridges. But this is around the world. But look at that. That's the kind of thing we are looking for. It's a bit older, but it's that is what we're looking for. We're not in France, definitely. I mean, like 20, this is the kind of thing that it'll probably end up being. 29th Street Bridge, Baltimore. And then what you have to do is type that in. Okay, that's not it. But we'll get there, I think. I think we'll get there this way. So, because I think that we are in North America, filter. Here we go, here we go. So it might not be in North America, but that's my hunch, so that's where we'll search first. No. Okay, I didn't want to pay for that, so I'm just going to have a little look on Wikipedia. Yeah, see, that's that's not bad. Minneapolis, this is the kind of place that we could be. So that's not right, but that's promising. Oh, this is good, we can just hover. That's going to save a lot of time. So this is where I'm at at the moment, guys. I am considering signing up for Structure A. I am, because... I mean, if I'm going to do a fair few episodes of this, it might be worth it. How is that on here? Concrete bridges. Oh, dear God, what? Right, because only certain ones will have a Wikipedia page. I get it, I get it. Yeah, uh, why that one has, where are we? That one. It's listed, yeah, it's, it's listed as a historic place. I get it. I was going to say, can you imagine how many there'd be? Right, moving on then. I think this is where this will probably be sped up so that hopefully the next thing you see will be um, me finding it. That's the idea. No, it's not it, but it's got a similar thing going on, but you know, I'm, it's good to see a similar bridge. Well, we've gone through all of those, but that's only up to H. Next page. Oh boy. It's pretty similar, but river's too big and the middle arch is bigger. 
on our bridge. See, if I can go on one of these and just get some terminology from it. Spandrel concrete arches. Just gonna have a little side Google. We may have just narrowed down our search here. We have. This might be a much better wiki page to browse through. Some of these I will have already been on, but yeah, I think, because this is open spandrel deck arch bridges, which is, you know, this. That's what we're looking for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from Y backwards. I'm going to be a bit kooky and go the opposite way. So if I don't find it here, it's quite, it's going to be quite perplexing and disconcerting, really. Wow. It's pretty impressive. I've seen a lot of bridges. Wow, wow, wow. What a bridge. Fuck. I love these bridges, some of them. Ooh, ooh, no. Spokane. I saw Spokane come up a few minutes ago and I cracked a smile because I actually explored it on uh, a game of Hometown Roulette, an old series I used to do. Yeah, I remember looking at those falls as well. Is that it? No, it's not. Why am I getting all... Why am I getting myself in such a tiz? Do you know what? It's very similar. I can't lie. Could just be the angles. That is... It's got the little things here. Let's get a better picture of it. Right. Oh my god, I think that's it. I think that's it because we've got that red shelter there, look. So that is it. But actually, the reason that that was so confusing is that we're looking downhill, downstream. So we're up at the waterfall's level. But you can't see the waterfall. I don't know if poor Lee Key here intended to get the waterfall in the picture. If so... I've got to say politely that photography isn't his best uh, skill, but yeah, I think that's it. We can see the things at the top there. You can see them and you can see the, the street lamps. Street lamps, they're there as well. Amazing, and it's a place I've explored virtually on Google Street View, just by chance. And I'm pretty sure I went over that bridge. <laughs> isn't that funny? Okay, let's um, pinpoint this. Let's get into Google Earth and pinpoint it. Didn't have to do much searching on Google Earth because this is the kind of thing where you either found it or you haven't. And when you found it, you found it. Then you go into Google Earth and it's very easy. Okay. Is that it? Let's find out. Yes. Ha. Uh, cool. Here we are, this will be the bridge. These are the falls. There they are. Stunning. So Mr. Fawcett will be over here somewhere. And this is where we spend a little bit of time figuring out exactly where he was. Um, the, the, oh. It's not exactly level, is it, the bridge on the photo, but it's okay. It's okay. You, you tried, Lee. Um, we are in line with the red thing and sort of one, two, three arches in, I would say. So what we could do here is get 3D buildings on, go like this. Third arch in, so he's probably on this thing here. That I'd say he's there. We can work this out. There are two trees between us and the bench, which is those. There's no other trees. We're about the same height as 
the middle of the tree really or maybe three quarters of the way up it and I suspect that if we put the man down here yeah we are much much higher we're much higher than those two trees there so we are 100% there uh, we knew that we just had to confirm it so pop that there and that is correct by the meter as far as I'm concerned uh, enjoyed that that was wow look how detailed that is that's insane that looks so weird have we got time to move on to our next photo I think I can do one more next up today to finish things off it's this photo sent in by Norm Sipper I think he might actually be sipping in this photo it's a city snap um, we're in the midst of skyscrapers S-E-N-E -E. that's all we can read there that's quite creepy there's a face there quite an eerie looking face but yeah that's all we've got we've got to figure out which skyline this cluster of skyscrapers belongs to uh, even though it's shrouded in fog we've got this building let's just get that a bit bigger we've got this building the white and gold facade of this building but apart from that we haven't got too much to go off here so this will be a challenge I think a very different kind of challenge but let's let's give it a go so where do we start 40 meters that's interesting 40 meters 30 meters 20 meters so that does that rule out America I think it might do and this rules out China these sort of Latin letters I think you would describe them S-E-N-E -E, what would that even mean is that the is there anything else to that what words could end in scene I'm just gonna quickly Google that just out of morbid curiosity uh, words that end in scene pretty much just kerosene that I've heard of of course that could just be seen and it could it could mean something in someone's world um, white and gold facade I'm gonna type in uh, and is that by a river that's gonna be on a river isn't it uh, river front let's just see if that gets any uh, results you know it's on the river and it's a white and gold facade or so it seems I'll tell you what I'll do just quickly I'm just gonna look at some Canadian cities because they're cities that will have tall buildings like these um, but we'll use meters and we'll have you know like this could be Europe but I'm gonna try some Canadian cities I'm just gonna go in on the map it's not Toronto I thought it wouldn't be because there's no river unless that isn't a river but I think it is this could be London for all I know um, so but Montreal I'll check can't be Montreal and it can't be there either is that in London I mean if it is surely well it will be opposite city so it would be sort of around here oh no so I'm just thinking about river but buildings in the forefront skyscrapers in the background but that's not right we try a different approach cities I'm sure you guys have thought of how to get this but at the moment I'm just I'm still trying different ideas here's another one so if I just put in yeah river and skyscrapers 
go on images, then that should, you know, that should give us some ideas, or it might even have, we might even see that white and gold building. I wonder if it could be Paris. La Defense in Paris. No. Uh, I'm just going to look at Moscow. I'm going to look at all the potential candidates in Europe. So we've got Moscow here. There is a river. Ah, are they all over here? They seem to all be over there. I'll tell you what, I need, I need to be on Google Earth here. I need to get those 3D buildings up. Nah, it's not it, is it? Because there's no historical buildings there. There's no skyscrapers the other side of the river. No, it can't be Moscow. Because of this, this, there'd be more Russian. So, ruled out Paris. It can't be Berlin. Thinking about cities that use meters. European cities, I'll check. I'll check through them all. Because there aren't many with skyscrapers. That's what you've got to remember. Let me just check a couple more spots in London and then I'm going to move to places such as Singapore. Could it be Canary Wharf? Because they're not rivers, but they're, there's big docks. Tall buildings, check. Potential river looking things, check. But that is the issue. And this, even, even this old sort of 60s looking building doesn't belong in Canary Wharf it didn't exist this all of this only existed from about 30 years ago so yeah it's a, it's a no I'm heading to ah uh, Australia 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 why am I heading to Singapore this could okay let me have a look in Australia first Melbourne Singapore, Shanghai, good fucking luck if it's in Tokyo, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Chicago, New York, got a spaceship in Columbus, Ohio, wow that is one pink building Edmonton, good for you, okay, I'm going down the avenue now of uh, street lamps because we have some here, now I'm not allowed to Google image search that. However, I am allowed to find something similar and then Google image search that and so on. So yeah, I'm, I'm going down this avenue, try and find something as close as I can. That's not a million miles away. Okay, that's not too far off. We're getting similar things. Ju I'm just not getting where I want to be with this street lamp. It's impossible to find something. There must be a terminology within the industry, but I can't find it. Okay, that's fairly useful. Canopy, globe. I can't even fucking read that. Lamp base, okay, lamp base. Just trying street lighting in a few different cities. Partly because it might come up with something similar, which I can then Google uh, reverse search, but partly because it might, you know, we might land on it, so. This is quite mad and frustrating because even with my questionable Googling skills, I just cannot find that design whatsoever, that sort of suspended half dome with the hat on. Just haven't seen it anywhere on the internet. And yeah, until I do that, I don't know how I'm going to get this. I really want to make sure that I've pursued this avenue as well as I possibly can. 
If I draw something like that, like if I take this for example, get on paint. Now this really is a first. Now if we go like this, that yeah that's about right so in effect I've drawn the added bits will Google image reverse search cook up other suggestions we'll see this will be interesting to know definitely Moment of truth. No. But it has worked in principle because it's coming up with things with the, the pole directly below it, which is promising. So it's worked in a sense. Oh, man. But that is as far as we've got. Unless that is the shard. And I was looking at the wrong... This better be it, man. If that is, if that building is the shard, then this could conceivably be London. If not, I'm gonna have to just come back tomorrow. Where's the blasted shard? There it is. Right. I think I might have it. If he's in between these two buildings. No. Please load. Please load these two. This is excruciating. Because look. Look at the side there. This matches up perfectly. Well, all we have to do is put the man down, don't we? That's all we have to do. But I think I've got it. Oh, don't give me that. Just give me... Yes, I think that's it. I think this is it. Yeah, it's it. Oh. Thank Christ. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Because, yes, most of the tall buildings are on this side. Uh, further that way. As you saw earlier. But the Shard is the tallest building in London. And it's on the other side. It's just that it's on its own. And I thought that that was a cluster of buildings. That's really silly of me not to check that. Didn't even think to. Ah, oh, thank God. I did think it had a London air about it. Yeah, it's just the width of the river. The width of the river for me. That is such a relief. Right, let's, let's put it down. I was just about to give up then and come back. The following day but no need sir no need do you know one thing I was gonna say quite early on is those bricks that wall seemed British but I didn't want to sound stupid because I guess it could exist in America or something and also I saw these plants and they didn't look too British but obviously they've been planted that as well looks a bit Londony I'm just glad to have got it though so I'm gonna pop the man down Imagine if we saw him taking the photo from down here. Um, see, none of them have got hats on anymore. Let's see if we can... Oh, no, we can't. I think he's on the... I think he's by the middle one. Yeah, he's there. He's there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Norm Sipper, thank you so much for that toilsome photo uh it took me way longer than it should have done i have to admit it was a foggy day in london after all that let's spin that compass back around get my head back into gear for this outro um really enjoyed those that was yeah there's rust but it, it, that, those were good urban snaps to get me back into this and we can finally add those to our list and I'm going to put exact for now because I, I, th I think they're within the 25 meters or is it? Yeah, within 25 meters. 
there we go. Um, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It was a bit brain frying at times, trekking all over the world, looking for this phantom photo. The thing is, there's always this niggle in the back of your mind. What, it's, what if it's not real? What if it's been doctored? Um, but that's just a, a, a super negative thought. I got there in the end. Uh, next week, things get harder. See you there. Thanks for watching. Take care.